Today is actually International Calm Day. So I do hope that people are feeling calm on this beautiful Sunday. And if not, hopefully a little bit of calm comes into your being after we start our meditation. So find your comfortable seated position. If it's not as comfortable as you'd like it to be sitting with your legs crossed, you can let them come out. You can actually lay down if you really want to. But try and find this space right now, this time to ground yourself down, roll the shoulders back. Let the belly just fall and float inward and outward with each breath. Gently close the eyes. Let the heads rest softly on the knees. The lips can stay parted as you gently breathe in and out. As Mother Earth begins to draw you down, pulling you into the core, the crown of your head begins to float upwards as if a string of white healing light draws you up, elongating the spine, Gently allow your awareness to follow the breath as it travels in through the nostrils and back out through the lips. Letting the belly rise and fall, not trying to control or create a specific pattern in the breath. Placing your right hand over your heart, your left hand on your belly. Bringing more awareness to the rise and fall as you follow the breath as it travels inward through the nose and connects with the out breath. Keep the focus on each breath as they connect. And if your mind has wandered, come back to the awareness of that single breath coming through the nostrils. Cool and clean as you exhale, connecting to the lips. Follow each breath in through the nose as it connects to the out breath.
And while you ground a little deeper into the mat, bring the awareness and attention now to the space between the eyes. As the muscles soften and relax, find your intention or create one for your day and the practice. As you hold your beating heart, let these gentle inhalations and exhalations create that intention. Let that still and calm of the mind be shared with our group today. Allow the hands to float back down to the knees, resting gentle. Let the corners of the lips turn upward slightly as you give yourself thanks for being present right now. Take a deep breath in, seal the lips, and exhale, release that ujjayi oceanic breath. Let's immediately bring awareness to the back of the throat, filling the throat with a little steam, a little wind bath. And keeping the lips and eyes gently sealed. As we inhale, we're gonna arch the back reach the gaze upwards, roll the shoulders back, heart center up to the sky. As we exhale, we're gonna hollow the back, drop the chin to chest, cat and cow in seated position. Very slow, powerful movements as we warm up the spine and upper body. Really draw that navel in as you hollow out the back. Inhale deep. Bring that heart center up. Three more breaths. One more full breath. And come back to center, smooth out the spine through one breath. Let's make sure we really have those sit bones firmly planted in. And we're just gonna start rolling through. And let's use that sound breath right here, like. We're on top of a mountain, planted in, the winds are blowing, but we remain calm throughout. Like a shh. Maybe keep the eyes closed. Really engage the full upper body here. You can use the shoulders, really engage that lower back as you twist and turn through a full rotation. We're kind of moving towards that full moon. So this is almost a full moon rotation of the upper body. One more full breath and rotate to the other side.
One more full breath, circle around. Slow and powerful, come back to center. Let's roll the shoulders up and release. Take them up to the ears, hold and release. Inhale, hold them here and release. One more breath, hold here and release. Roll the shoulders back. And forward roll. Beautiful. Inhale, reach those wings sky high. And exhale, swing them back behind you. Fingertips facing those sits bones. Let's extend both feet out in front of you. I'll turn on my mat so I can show. Bring that down a little. Fingertips facing the sit bones. And feet must be flat on the mat. We're gonna inhale as we lift the hips sky high, drop the head back. We're gonna inhale, lift that right leg to the ceiling. Point that toe, exhale, drop it down. Inhale, lift that left foot to the ceiling. Exhale, drop it down. So you wanna make sure that out of all of this, you're keeping those hips sky high. Drop the head, arms are straight. If this is a little too much for you, just hold here. You're gonna warm up the arms, warm up the lower back. Keep the navel engaged. Keep that breath flowing. For three. For two. For one. And hold here, doing great. Lift those hips a little higher. Make sure the toes are on the mat. For three, two, one, and release. Bring the knees in, give yourself a big hug. Hollow out the back. Good, you should feel a little fire light in the arms already, awesome. Let's exhale, bring those knees to 90 degrees. Roll the shoulders back, bring that heart center up. Let's feel the lips, use that beautiful ujjayi breath. Point those beautiful toes out. We're gonna hold it here, extend the arms, palms facing together, spread all those beautiful fingers. So I want you to really feel this engagement in that core area here. As soon as you start to lower, you can feel it kind of slipping away. So you want to find that sweet middle spot where it starts engaging all the way at the top here, all the way to the bottom of the diaphragm. For five more breaths. I'm taking really slow breaths today. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, slowly draw those knees back into the body. Give yourself a big hug, hollow out the back. And drop both feet onto the mat. Sit up tall and strong. Inhale those arms up and over. Bring those arms back behind you. Fingertips facing the sits bones. Inhale as you exhale, lift those hips sky high. Again, you can hang out here if you want. You can add that spice. Start lifting those beautiful limbs towards the ceiling, pointing the toes. Honor your edge. Keep the breath flowing, keep the navel drawn in. For three, for two, one, and hold here. For three, two, and one, 
Gently exhale, slowly lower the sit bones. Both knees come in, give yourself a nice big hug, hollow out the back. And bring those knees up 90 degrees. Roll the shoulders back. Extend those arms out if you can. Palms facing one another. Spread those beautiful fingertips out, holding here. If you want to add a little spice here, you can lift those legs, pointing the toes up. Hold here, wherever you'd like to be today. You can dance to the music. I don't know if anybody can even hear the music today. Almost there. We've got three more breaths. You're doing great. For two. For one. And exhale. Draw the knees close to the body. Curl the heart over. And let's do eight rock and rolls here. Smooth out that spine. On your last rock and roll, come onto the balls of your feet. All right. So let's make sure that we are strong. Our big toes can be touching our heels slightly spread apart, placing the palms flat on the mat. So today we're actually gonna play with our uh, bakasana or our pro pose, since I have all of my regulars here today. And we've been really working on our strength training and using our uh, upper body and lower body strength for the last few weeks. So. I want to kind of incorporate some of these things in as we go through all of our yoga together. So let's take our palms. We're going to spread them out, all fingertips. Whenever you are coming into any movement on the mat, the only time you wouldn't use your full hand and uh, fingertips on the mat is specified. And somebody will tell you when to do that. Any other time, you want to really engage the full hand, fingertips, the palms, every bit of skin that you have there to really be on the mat. So we're going to place the palms down on the mat, a little further than uh, shoulders distance apart. You want to kind of bring those knees out to the outer edges beyond your elbows. Now, if this is enough for you to do today, that's fine. But let's try and see if we can keep those big toes kind of together there and just kind of rock a little bit onto the elbows. And I'll come a little closer to the screen so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So here are the elbows. You're just going to rock like this. You're on the ball of the feet. You're just above the elbow. So we're going to kind of rock and roll right there. Get used to that feeling. If you want, you can lift up one foot at a time. If you want, try and lift up two feet at a time. You've got about 10 breaths to work through with this. Let's see how my little crows are doing. Good job. See, if you never try it, you don't know if you can do it. But the more you try it, the more you trust yourself. It's just like doing head and handstands. Most people are just afraid 
more than they can't physically do it. Most people physically are able to do a headstand. It's just that fear of not ever doing it or trying it. And once they actually get up into that position, they're able to do it. So let's take two more breaths wherever you're at. And come back. You're on the balls of your feet. So we're gonna give our wrists a lot of love right now. Let's flip them over, our fingertips facing our big toes. And let's just rock gently forward and gently back. We just wanna give our wrists and our fingers and our hands a little bit of massage. Now turn the hands inward, fingertips facing one another. Let's spread those knees out and let's just bring the chin down slightly. Elbows coming out. Kind of like a back of the hand chin up. Bring the palms back to shoulders distance apart. Bring the knees in and come to a tabletop stance. Draw the navel up, bring the hands in. If they're out a little past, they should be just underneath where the shoulders are. Shoulder blades racing down the back. One more wrist, a little move here. We're just gonna do small circles, go counterclockwise. And clockwise. Come back to center. And let's bring that left knee to the center of the mat. Let's inhale, extend that right leg back behind us. Inhale, reach that left arm in front, palm facing down. Find your balance, find maybe a focus on the floor in front of you. Now you don't want your hips to drop on the right side. You want it to be balanced so your anchor is strong. And we're gonna exhale as we draw that left elbow into the right knee. Let's steam it out with that power breath, like shh. So if that helps 
If your wrists are getting a little fatigued, go ahead and utilize that. And on your next exhale, extend that left leg sky high, toes pointing towards the back wall. Square off the hips. Inhale and exhale, reach the right arm forward, fingertips facing that back wall. Let's power breath and steam it out. Elbow to knee. Three more for three, two, and one. Let's hold it here. Extend that right arm out. Keep the knee curled in. Drop that beautiful right palm down. Extend that left leg. Come to the ball. Lift the body up. Lift that right knee up about six inches off the mat. Keep the navel drawn in. On your next exhale, extend that right back to meet the left. Bring the heart center up and over the fingertips. Exhale, lower into Chaturanga, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Really push those hands into the mat. Lift the hips. Inhale, reach the gaze through the hands and on your tippy toes, walk all the way up so the feet meet the hands. Let the head drop, ragdoll, slight bend in the knees, grab opposite elbows, rock side to side. Let the hands drop. Peace fingers grabbing opposite big toes and gently walk your elbows towards opposite walls by taking the head, crown of the head down towards the ceiling. Honor your edge. You can have a nice deep bend in the knees so your, your uh, core can be resting on your thighs, guiding the elbows outwards, your head comes down. As you get more comfortable and more juicy, you're gonna be able to start straightening those legs. But honor yourself. Keep the breath rolling through. Yeah, let's use our sound breath. Make some sounds. You can let the lips flutter. Good little massage vibration for the face. Release the fingers. And gently lift up one foot at a time. Put the hands underneath so the palms are facing the bottoms of the feet. And press down. Let the head drop. Roll the shoulders back. One more deep breath in and exhale, release the hands, bend in the knee, halfway raise. 
Exhale, drop and inhale. Reach the arms up and overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, hands down to the heart center. How you guys feeling? I hope a little juicy and warmed up. All right. So we're gonna do a little balancing with our legs today. So maybe shake them out, get them ready, tell them that you love them, all that good stuff. So we're gonna start with our left leg since we started with the right yesterday. We'll start with the left today. Let's ground that left heel, toes into the mat. Now you can use whatever you want to kind of help you. If you want, you can use a chair, you can use your arms as kind of your guides. You can use a wall, honor your edge. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead. Palms come down to your heart center, gaze to your fingertips. Inhale, lift that left leg 90 degrees. Now, bring the pelvic floor up. Again, you can imagine that you are zipping your pants up here to kind of engage that core area. You're gonna roll those shoulder blades all the way back down the uh, spine. Now you should feel really engaged here. The crown of the head is lifting upwards. Remember that feeling. Let's bring that leg out. Opening up our hips. Come back to center. Inhale, reach both arms up and overhead. We're gonna leave our right arm sky high. Exhale, we're gonna bring that left arm back behind us. Take the inside of the right foot. Now, we're gonna press into the hand with our foot, and we're gonna slowly, gently float forward naturally. Now we're not gonna bend forward. As we press into that back foot, our body will naturally start moving forward. So go ahead, play with your own movements. Your body will naturally fall forwards, meaning don't try and bend forward. It actually will make you fall uh, onto the floor. So. Ground yourself in, maybe find that focal point. Remember, we're gonna keep breathing here too. A smile might help. For three more breaths. One more deep breath. As you exhale, gently come back to a standing position. Let's bring that knee back to 90 degrees. Bring the left arm to meet the right. Palms come together. Let's shoot a beautiful color of choice into the sky. Let's let that left float down to meet the right. Inhale, elongate through the center, seal the thighs. And exhale, float to the right side. Inhale through the center. Exhale, float to the left. Inhale back through the center. Let's seal the lips. Ujjayi breath. You should feel a really beautiful opening through the cages here. A little bit more blood flow and oxygen. One more breath on each side. Come back to center, smooth it out for one breath. Inhale, elongate, exhale, swoop down, swan dive down. Inhale, halfway raise. Exhale, drop, and inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. 
Right knee comes 90 degrees. Let's really engage the core. Again, if you want, you can have your hands in prayer. Palms can be up. Chair, wall, human, ghost, dance moves, shimmy shaking. Yeah, dance, dance, party. I'm feeling it, kids. In the sound, and inhale, you exhale, let's turn that hip outwards. My right hip is saying, no way, mama. I'm saying, uh-huh. I might need a little help getting it out there a little further. I saw Regina Spector walking down the, the street one day in Berkeley. It was really cool. At least I thought it was cool. <laughs> and inhale, bring that beautiful knee back to center. Inhale, reach both arms sky high. As we exhale, we're going to drop that back uh, right foot behind us along with that back right hand. And start your dancer's pose, lifting and pressing into the back of that hand, letting the body naturally come forward. Find that focal point on the floor. Three more breaths. One more breath. And slowly, carefully, gently come back around. Bring that right arm up to meet the left. Palms together, bring the right knee up to 90 degrees. And exhale, bring it down in front of you. Straight leg. And I'll turn so you can see. So we're moving into our triangle. So we're going to inhale, elongate up and over. So now you're going to really want to honor your edge. So if you can, bring your hands all the way down to the mat. That's great. If you can't, use your fingertips. Here's one of those times. If you have yoga blocks or any kind of books or anything that you want to use that you can put on your sides, go for it. Or if you just want to kind of rest and bring yourself into a lunge, go for it. But eventually, we are going to have a nice, beautiful triangle that you are going to move into. Open up, breathe into the backs of the leg here. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. And exhale. Now you want to come up onto the right foot. Really bring a slow, careful attention to this. You can use your fingertips and we're going to lift that left leg sky high. Point the toes down to the mat. Keep the navel engaged. Doing great. Exhale, drop the left to meet the right, big toes touching heels, slightly spread out, halfway drop, halfway raise, and again, halfway drop, draw the left back, draw the right back, come to plank, chaturanga, and upward dog, 
Beautiful. Come back to downward dog. Let's pedal the feet out. Walk your dog. <sighs> Come back to center. Inhale, reach the gaze forward. Bring that left leg towards the center. Straighten that leg out. Maybe bring that right foot in a bit more. Come into your triangle. So if you need to, bring that back foot in so you don't have too much space here. Make yourself comfortable. Two more breaths. One more deep breath in. And on your next inhale, gently start to bring all of your weight onto the left foot. And inhale, lift that right leg sky high. Flex the feet. Draw the navel in. Let's drop that hip if you start to roll it upwards. You'll feel the difference. Keep that smile on your face. Mama can see. And exhale, slowly lower, big toes touching. Let's come down onto the sit bones. Woohoo! Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring them back behind you. Clasp the hands. Draw the shoulder blades down. That should feel good. Play with your balance a little bit more here. Release, shake out the arms. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, bring the palms down. All right, I won't do that to you yet today, but just know things are a coming. So let's just come down onto the sit bones. We're gonna give our legs a nice big stretch here. They just got the best of the best of us, I think. You guys showed them. So we're gonna give them a little bit of love. So come down on your sit bones again, plant them into the mountain, into the earth, wherever you want to envision that you're planting. Spread those beautiful limbs out. Let the heart center come up. Crown of the head reaching upwards. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, those uh, left peace fingers come down. Now, if you can't reach your big toes, um, if you have bands already, that's great. Not all of us prepared for this before. But you can also start using a towel, a t-shirt, something. T-shirts are usually good uh, because they have a little bit of a pull and give. If you're not able to kind of reach your feet, I'd suggest start using those for these kind of stretches. Even if you can uh, reach your feet, this is a good safe way to do it. But you wanna start trying to draw yourself up and over. So from here, you're already grounded in. You're lifting up and going over. Cool? All right, so let's inhale together. Extend that left arm and up and over with the right arm. Now from here, you wanna kind of twist and turn. So you're here in this position. Now you wanna open up the heart center. So you'll really feel the rib cages on the right side of the body really extend and kind of burst open. All that light energy is allowed to course through there. Let's 
let's use that H-A, heart opening, cage opening sound breath, like. <sighs> Two more breaths. One more deep breath in and release, roll back to center. Let the heart center come down onto the thigh. Let the elbows gently rest on either side of the leg. You can always make the little pillows with your fists. On your next exhale, gently walk the body back to center. Rolling up slowly, come back to center. Let that whole spine smooth out through one breath. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Let's extend to the right side. Now remember, yin and yang, light and dark, all that good stuff, left and right side of the body. Things might not be the same on either side. You might be more stiff or loose on one side. Just focus on the breath coming through the nostrils, connecting with the out breath. Two more breaths. And exhale, slowly roll. Turn the heart center down towards the thigh. Release the hands. Breathe into the legs and exhale, slowly roll the body up. Walk the hands back towards the body. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and exhale, start to walk the hands out in front of you. Reach the gaze forward. Flex the toes. Point the toes. Flex and point. Mm -hmm. And walk the hands back. Let's bring those beautiful legs back in. Let's water the earth with a little bit of our rain flow. Shake out the legs, make a little sound. Let the vibrations flow throughout the body. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And let's exhale, let's bring that left foot to the outside of our uh, right knee. We're gonna swing that right foot back behind us. So our foot is now parallel to the back wall. And our big toe of our left foot is still facing the front. So you can kind of help keep your back straight, your crown of your head really straight and uh, towards the sky. You can just gently take hold of that front leg. Just give it a nice squeeze in towards the body. Opening up those hips just a bit more. If you wanna add a bit of intensity, you can guide that left foot 
over to the opposite side. So those knees come down and join. It's kind of like letting them kiss. Roll the shoulders back. You can give your feet a little massage while you're in this pose. Deep breath in and exhale. Guide that left out. Guide that right out. Shake them out. Inhale, arms reaching up. Bring that left, excuse me, the right foot to the left knee. Find your balance, keep the sits bones in and start to swing that left foot now back behind you. Back of the foot parallel to the back wall. Give yourself a nice big hug here. Should really feel a nice opening through these hips. Again, if you wanna add some more heat, you can drop that knee on top of the other. You wanna make sure that the knees aren't uh, going out of above one another. That top knee should be in line with the bottom. Again, giving your feet a nice little massage here. Deep breath in. And sigh as you release. And gently keeping hold of the feet. Let's bring them up, keeping them crossed, straight up in front of us. If you can, let go, coming back to our low boat. Point the toes, separate the feet out. Now let's seal the lips. Come back to that oceanic journey of breath. Really build another wind back in the throat. Holding here, beautiful. For five more breaths, you're almost there. For three. For two. One more deep breath in, exhale, gently bring those feet together. And slowly, surely roll back, connect one vertebrae at a time. Bring the chin to chest, palms come just underneath the sit bones. Let the shoulders rest, let the head drop back. Bring the right knee into the heart center the left knee to the heart center. Let's circle around clockwise. Counterclockwise, massage the kidneys and lower back. And come back to center. Extend both arms, palms facing down. You can either bring both knees down to one side with your exhale, inhale through the center. If you want to add a little steam, you can bring both legs up, flex the feet, bring them down. Make sure your shoulders are staying flat to the earth. Your navel is engaged. As you float to one side, your gaze goes towards the opposite. Come back to center. Give yourself a big hug. Point the toes. 
Take a few deep inhalations. And exhale with a sigh as you release any unserving feelings, thoughts, or energies. Let them wash away. Let Mother Earth recycle and make new. <sighs> Inhale, reach the arms up and over the head, stretch. Inhale, stretch the legs sky high, flex the feet. Keep that lower back nice and flat on the mat. And let's start to engage the core as you start to lower the legs, keep the feet together. If this is a little too hard on the lower back, just bring those beautiful hands down underneath the lower back. Keep lowering down just until you're about three inches from the floor. Point the toes and just start fluttering the feet. Keep the breath flowing. You're getting a running start. You're gonna be flying soon through a beautiful, magical space. Keep those legs fluttering, the excitement in your face growing, the wind surrounding and swirling around, giving you speed. Slowly bring those wings down to your sides. Shoulders resting on the earth. You're almost there. And when you're ready to take that leap, take a deep breath in. Exhale with a big sigh. And release the legs. Close the eyes. The mind, body, and spirit full of happiness and hope, soaring through a beautiful, bright, golden light. Glowing, nurturing, gentle, and pure. Your mind is calm, your body weightless, your spirit pure. Soaring in golden light.
feeling the gentle breath flowing in and out. You allow the awareness to take rest. On a healing breath. As it moves through the body. Rising and falling. Gentle, each cell becoming awakened. Allowing this golden healing light to enter with each breath flowing in and out. your mind begins to wander, allow the bell to remind you to bring your awareness back to this golden healing breath, coming in through the nose, filling each cell body one glowing light. Calm and connected to mind and spirit.
Bring your awareness once again to the breath. As the belly rises and falls slow and gentle, bring the right hand onto the heart, the left, onto the belly. Feeling the gentle oceanic wave. And the trinity of mind, body, and spirit, creating a calm universe within. This calm that you can create through the breath as you breathe deep in, filling each cell, each organ, and exhale, releasing back to the earth, that same calm intention. And while you hold your heart and your breath, the spirit whispers to you, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be well, may you be at peace. And so the mind says, I am beautiful, creative, and full of wisdom, and we are all there is, and all there is is love. And that Trinity is ready to join, to seal our intentions. So roll over to one side, give yourself a beautiful hug. Give mind, body, and spirit graciousness. Perhaps the corners of your mouth rising even brighter now. When you're ready to seal intentions and practice, gently join me in an easy seated posture. As we seal our intentions, practice 
Bring that calm of mind, body, and spirit into the day, sharing with one another and the universe. for our lives, jobs, families, friends. I ask that we are blessed in peace, harmony, bliss, joy, love, and light. Namaste. Namaste.